hills are alive. The sun is shining. The day is beautiful. But there's, a, there's a question on my mind. It is a query that has plagued both scientists and philosophers for decades. How do you solve a problem like Maria? And if you're one of the many Vancouverites who enjoys musical theater, then I might have an answer for you. But if you've never been sat down around the holiday time when stations play the same movie over and over because your relative really likes that one particular movie that makes them think of Christmas and makes them happy and makes you watch it over and over, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. This week, the Queen Elizabeth Theatre is playing host to The Sound of Music, the beloved stage musical from Rodgers and Hammerstein. This instance is directed by three-time Tony Award winner Jack O'Brien, and the story follows Maria, a nun who comes to be the teacher for the children of a military officer. Love, hijinks, and musical numbers ensue. After 52 years, it seems that we as a culture just can't get enough of kids yodeling. And really, can you blame us? Whether the theater is one of your favorite things, you're 16 going on 17, or you've never seen the movie in any way and all my pop culture references are lost on you, you can see what critics are saying and what all the people are talking about. The Sound of Music will be at the Queen Elizabeth Theater until September 17th. I'm Phelan Glenn with your entertainment file for Evolution 107.9. Until next time, climb every mountain. So long, farewell, hafidasein. And goodbye. This is in the movie.